Back in November of 2014, UK TV advertising law changed to allow advertisers to actually show people using e-cigarettes. And for the first time since 1965, UK TV view viewers saw people exhaling and they were horrified. According to The Mirror, the advert was first shown a little after the 9pm watershed during a broadcast of the channel's new flagship drama, Grandchester, starring James Norton and Robson Green. But viewers reacted with disgust on Twitter, fearing the advert could glamorise smoking. E-cigarette ads have been shown on UK TV for several years, but only recently have they actually been allowed to show people using them. Previously, they were just either motion graphics or something daft with that bloke that we all know from that thing. The reaction from the public seemed overwhelmingly negative, but the poll on the same Mirror article shows 61% of people are in favour of e-cigarette ads on TV. Now, I haven't actually watched scheduled TV for a long time, so I rarely see adverts. Uh, but I have seen one or two e-cigarette adverts, and to be honest, I found them quite inoffensive and dull on the whole. The same cigar likes that you always see in every supermarket and petrol station, e-lights, VIP, and I don't know, some other stuff. TV advertising is quite expensive, so only the most wealthy e-cigarette companies can afford the time slots and the production costs. I don't think we're going to see a Sigeli advert anytime soon, but a Kanga one, maybe? Some advertisers, VIP in particular, have been blasted for creating highly sexual ads that do definitely seek to glamorise e-cigarette use, but not smoking. However, those adverts were banned quite quickly. Nevertheless, UK TV viewers will definitely see an increase in e-cigarette adverts in 2015. Brands that are using TV advertising mostly include companies that are owned by large tobacco interests, but there are a few exceptions, and I don't want to draw attention to any particular brand because ultimately I'm not in favour of the cartridge-fed cigar-like stuff anyway. And as I said, the adverts themselves are pretty dull. There's even one that plays out like a post-traumatic stress disorder support group. It's clear that advertising e-cigarettes on TV is a double-edged sword. On one hand, you'll reach a potential market of millions of people. On the other hand, you run the risk of being demonised if the advert is rejected by the public for being too engaging. And for that reason, we're unlikely to see a thrill-a-minute commercial for Vaporshark on British TV anytime soon. So I ask the question, does it matter? Does it matter that only cigar likes and big tobacco brands can afford TV advertising time? Do we care if ac people actually vape in the adverts or not? Does it matter that the brands and products that vapors identify with will remain essentially confined to the internet? I don't think it matters at all. Without the strict regulations of Ofcom, the UK's online e-cigarette community continues to grow exponentially and polls show that the UK public are ultimately in favour of e-cigarettes. TV adverts will come and go and they're all essentially the same and YouTubers like me are free to say what we like and TV, well scheduled TV, is often considered secondary to online sources anyway these days. So whatever you might think of the adverts for e-cigarettes on UK TV, at the very least they're promoting the use of e-cigarettes over tobacco products, even if they are tobacco companies essentially, and increasing awareness of vaping, which is fine by me.